Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Knight Gaming, and we're back playing more Minecraft. And I went ahead and did a little bit of work already on the uh, on the lab, uh, putting in uh, some of the ceiling and putting in some of the lights. So I've been working on setting up to add a whole bunch of power to this level. So this is going to be the first level where I really, uh, really start playing with redstone. It's nothing, nothing super advanced like some of the crazy stuff you may have seen on YouTube. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, little bit of work and a little bit of experimentation because I actually haven't worked with some of this uh, stuff and I haven't worked in re with redstone in a pretty long while. So what I've actually done is created a little back area here. This is where I'm gonna do a lot of the initial redstone wiring uh, to get to various points because I have a couple of things I want to do. Uh, one is obviously the lights, so I want those to be able to turn on with either a switch. It's probably gonna have to be a switch. It can't be a button. Uh, mostly because, uh, well, uh, buttons are temporary, a, a switch will actually on and off. So, for example, I'm going to place, excuse me, I'll place my switch here. So now, at that point, I just come up the stairs, hit my switch. Oops, no, not place a new switch, hit a switch. So I'll hit a switch, and that'll turn the lights on. And then I'm also going to, because I want it to be, quote-unquote, a secure room, for the tower, it's actually going to be uh, iron doors, because iron doors are the only doors that uh, have to be powered to be opened. And I might just, I mean, it's its going to be secure, uh, quote unquote, uh, large, it's still probably just going to be uh, foot uh, pressure plates, unless I uh, put in a secret button somewhere or put switches in right along the door just because I can. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet, but I can also set it up to even potentially lock it out. It takes a little bit more uh, construction-wise, but uh, and that might be something I've played with uh, further up in the tower or in another building, just to show you guys what kind of devices and stuff you can kind of start experimenting with. I mean, if you want to see some really crazy redstone stuff, go check out other stuff on uh, uh, some other stuff on YouTube. There's some really really crazy. Uh, can, uh, things that people have done on YouTube uh, with Minecraft, uh, just playing around with redstone, and that's that's before you take into account uh, some of the stuff that uh, modders have done with uh, uh, with with Minecraft uh, and some of the mods that have come out to add. I mean, you can build mining equipment and stuff like that where it it'll actually mine for you, set, set it up, rig it up, and it'll. You know, that whole hole I needed to dig to build this tower? Yeah, you could have done that with uh, a, a device and basically just walked away, worked on something else while it dug the hole for you. And it would have collected all the resources that you would have got from it. Whole nine yards, so it's some really neat and crazy stuff. Now, I'm I'm playing on PlayStation, obviously, uh, so mods aren't a thing yet. Uh, uh, it works... Uh, um, it works from a, uh, so they, I don't know if they're working on mods for it. I know they're trying to push more, uh, Xbox and Windows 10 and stuff like that is uh, pushing for doing a whole lot more community wise. So, uh, for example, I think if, if it all launches according to the way, the way I think it is, and I'd have to read it, um, I'll be able to play Minecraft across, you know, a Windows 10 version of Minecraft, Xbox, uh, mobile. And I think even PlayStation you'll be able to crossplay. I know crossplay is starting to get a, to be a bigger thing, and I'm hoping that it gets to be a really awesome big thing. Uh, more so with a ton of stuff. I know Rocket League they're really pushing for it. I don't know if it, it's happened yet, but they're pushing for crossplay for that between specifically between Xbox and PlayStation, which I'm all for. Um, but adding more and more games that can potentially do that, especially uh, say for example Smite. Being able to play Smite uh, both on PlayStation and Xbox would be pretty cool. I know the, diff the difference in UI between console and PC is a little too disparate for Smite, so that probably wouldn't happen. Uh, but between the two consoles is totally doable, and I'm getting completely off track, but that's okay. Alright, uh, so i got to run this redstone, so here's our, our, here's where I'm... i got to get uh, really creative and figure this out, because it's only... And thus, why I built this the way I did. Um, let's take a look here. Um, so basically, the big thing you've got to do with running redstone is you have to create and complete circuits. So I'm going to have to do this. Okay, so we're going to run, run our circuit. 
second. So this this is what's going to initially build the circuit. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to run that redstone. Okay, there, and I'm going to... behind uh, the mechanics of a, a device is this. Uh, it's red, uh, redstone torch, so that's what powers everything. Uh, you set some redstone, so you see how that's uh, lit up. Now if I put this redstone here, so you see that's all set out there, it's not doing anything. It's not lit up, whole nine yards. And then I can put this guy here, this switch in between. Now if I activate the switch, as you can see, it turns on the light. Right. It's no different. It's basic ele electrical uh, uh, setup right, right there. Complete your circuit. Right. And then from there, right, just by uh, branching off a bit, you can do all sorts of stuff. Right. Now, you can play with it a little bit and say, for example, I can add this redstone repeater. Now, right now, it's set to off. Okay. Now, it can be set to delay, that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to turn the wrong way. Sorry. You got it. There you go. See, I had it turned the wrong way. So, it actually is also the great thing about uh, repeaters the directional. Now, <coughs> I've set that. Now, you're going to have to watch very closely because of the distance. But as you can see there, when I hit the switch, because of the way I've set that, it actually sets a delay. And that's the great thing about a repeater, is you can delay it. So if you have a, a series of devices you want to trigger in a certain order and with a slight delay, setting up a bunch of repeaters, they do two things. They extend your circuit further instead of having to add additional torches, because you can only go so far with uh, just laying out redstone before it will no longer power. So if I go and lay out my redstone and keep going... Uh, As you can see here, now it's dark. That's as far as the redstone can go. However, throw in a repeater, going the right way. And now I can go all the way the heck over here. Just like so. Alright, so that's how you do it. So that's where where I've got to I got to come in here. So is I've got to find a f step one is not put holes in your floor. So now I got to find spruce wood. Uh, I'm gonna have to move my map. <laughs> now I got too much material in here. All right, fix the floor. Oh no! Now I have two redstone. That's weird. That looks weird. Anyway, uh, take apart uh, my little uh, experiment for you guys. And, uh, so yeah, so now that I've done that, and showed you kind of how that works, so now I've got to find a way to get a redstone torch placed somewhere without, uh, making it obvious, because I want this all, you know, behind the scenes. So I need to set my button, or my switch here, in such a way that it's actually between the two. So this is where I, I just realized I have a bit of conundrum. So I need to find a way to set my redstone somewhere hidden in here. Hit the switch. Okay. Actually, I'm going to try something. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to place this one here. Place that here. Okay. So now... Ah! Tried to fall through the floor. Okay, now that I've placed that there, I think I've solved my problem. Because now, because that's going here, is I'm going to go and place these blocks here. I don't have to go far away. See, now it's connecting to that device. Ooh, okay. I have to change this around just a wee bit. Yeah, there's a bit of experimentation going on here. All right. There's only one way to really test this to see if I'm not crazy. 
and that's to hit the switch. So we hit the switch, and we'll see what happens. It lights up. Perfect. So now, place our blocks. great thing is if you place it on a block and it's going up, it'll go up. Now, here's where I want to... Oops, wrong way. Alright, I'm actually going to place that back here. There's a reason for this. Because I want to extend it, but i got to be careful. i got to extend my circuit as, much, as far as I can. Basic Minecraft Lighting 101. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more Minecraft. Check out my other stuff. I do tons of Let's Plays of all sorts of kind of stuff. I do previews for games like the free stuff that comes out every month. And uh, I do cosplay stuff as well. So, hope you guys uh, check all that out. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time. Have fun. Keep gaming.